Hey, one Mark and Joey here from UltimateSportsChannel.com. Want to say that up front, any new listeners, uh, that that's what you're viewing. Also, you're viewing from Ontario, Canada, which is where we're from. And we're going to be moving into the hockey side, so we're Toronto Maple Leaf fans. Give you that up front when you hear from us. Uh, also want to tell you that on the website, we've got a complete sports feed every day. New posts, all the information you need. Go there and see everything you need to know about sports. But also there you'll see our sponsors, which we appreciate so much. And if you can support them, that's wonderful. We also are in a position where we show you all the places that we're showing, either on video or audio only. You can listen to us and watch us on many different uh, podcast channels. And uh, we're going to move right now into hockey. Joy, we're getting there. Leafs start their, their uh, training camp tomorrow. And so are a lot of the other teams all the next couple of days. So we're handling one team per day, or two teams per day, and we're going to look at their camps as we go. And today we're going into the New York Rangers first here. And uh, what are you seeing with the Rangers this year? Well, the New York Rangers, I think, are going to have an interesting year. I mean, they really lucked out with the draft. And, and after some bummer seasons, uh, they kind of look like they're on the resurgence. So the draft, first of all, they got Kako, it's number two overall pick. And then they signed Art- Artemi Pernernin, uh, <laughs> who is one of the best free agents, obviously, available this year. So they made some big moves here. Um, what we've done in the training camp so far is a prediction, floor ceiling, MVP, breakout star, playoffs, and divisional rank. We're going to do that here with the Rangers. But, yeah, quickly they did to make those big signings. Good draft and still have one of the greatest goaltenders, I think, in the league at Henrik Lundqvist. And in the great state of New York, I wouldn't be surprised to see more moves well, in order to make this and, work. And the NHL wants them to be good. I mean, that's right. the biggest hockey uh, market there is. Uh, they need them to be good. It's a viable to, franchise, by the way. Yeah, and to drive those fans watching those games all the time. And it's great for Canada because we don't have those revenue juggernauts. So we need the league doing well that helps some of the smaller teams like Edmonton and Winnipeg within Canada. So, um, yeah, we'd love to have the, the Rangers be a good team this year. Yeah, for sure. So that would be uh, you know something to look forward to uh, absolutely in uh, the NHL. And so let's to start with uh, my prediction. And my prediction really is uh, 100 points for them, and that's a big year. Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a playoff year. That's top three in this division. Um, I do have them third currently behind, I think, what will be Washington guaranteed top two. Pittsburgh, I think, could be uh, number two as well. Um, so number three, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go that's a playoff spot. It's 100 points. It's a massive year by these guys. Um, you know, this division, by the way, the Metropolitan Division and how it works and why it's so important in the NHL, they had five teams from this division um, make the playoffs and only three from the Leafs division, the Atlantic. So that might switch a little bit. So it's important for the Rangers. Get up there. Get that third spot. Get that guaranteed playoff yeah. spot. No wild card necessary. And I really think they can do it. I mean, um, you know, my uh, – uh, Ceiling for them is actually 110 points. I think this could be. Wow, you are you're I'm, all over I'm the Rangers. Over the, now their floor could easily be a 90. Yeah, obviously. But I just think when you look at the the format there, you know they got big forwards now in this off season here, and and then it's still a great goaltender on the backside. The defense a little bit skeptical. We'll have to see that going forward. But I think what this team needs is a spark. And I've I've said this to certain teams, and in a big city like this. They did what the big cities have to do. Free agent and draft pick. A free agent and draft pick. Exactly. You're right on the spot there. Which leads me into my breakout star, which is going to have to be Capo Kako. Uh, from Finland. Had a great junior career. Um, you know, six goals in ten games. The World Championships. They were so hyped on this kid. at the draft that they thought he might go number one. Yeah. So, you know, this guy from Finland is really looking forward to getting the NHL. I know he we all like are. seems like the real deal. Well, he seems like it. And he'll have to be in my mind because yeah. I think... He'll get right put up there on the second or first line, probably on a power play unit, something like that. So he'll have to put up a good rookie season. In my mind, him and Jack Hughes will battle it out for the Calder Trophy, but he'll need to be in that category for but Joey, sure. But, Joey, we know this whole European going pro early with Austin Matthews on the Leafs, right? Like, he's not coming from junior hockey that has this massive growth uh, uh, period of getting to learn what it's well, like to play in the NHL. You know, when they're playing over there, they're already playing against pros in most cases. And you're seeing that even with someone like Jack Hughes. You know, they play a lot of under 20s and under 18s and, and, and world championships. And, you know, because he's American, he's from Finland. Really, it's the Canadians, and I think that's why Canadians aren't being drafted one or two. And, you know, they're playing in the OHL, and they're not maybe getting on the big stage as much, maybe not playing pro hockey, maybe not traveling with the under 18 U.S. squad. So he's coming from Finland. He did that, of course, did really, really well. Like I said, I think lots of power play opportunities for him. So Capo Caco is going to be my breakout star for the Rangers. More importantly, will need to be a breakout star this yeah, year and be very, very important to this team. Um, so that makes the MVP. No, it doesn't need to be Henry Lundqvist. I know he's Caleb. It's going to be after the big free agent signing, Pernardin. He's going to have to be 
one of the least it's why we, it's in the why everybody spends the money you when know, they go after these guys you know so. this is the easiest team to, to to look at and say what needs to happen and what can happen and what will happen is the question mark but what we need to happen is Pernarian to be what they paid him and basically he was a tough free agency they they went hard at him took him from Columbus um he needs to I mean he needs to be the leading scorer on this team he needs to be the leading point getter he needs to be the guy on the power play that scores goals on a consistent basis you know this is it has to be a top five power play in the league as far as I'm concerned the defense is skeptical the goaltending is good enough but up front we know what they got and they have to use it and they have to be in the top my mind top 10 in scoring in the whole entire league to make the, what I see can happen happen well I agree 100% because you know Lundqvist is a is a quality goaltender he's yes. getting a little bit up there in age but he's played well and really when you get to this point it's about outscoring Sometimes when you can't put the D back there, you've got a cap- capable goaltender and, and capable to excellent, I would say. And he might be more excellent if the team's playing better. So you want that scoring. That's going to help. He's going to not be able to defend it all off himself. So you're right. going to have to score some goals. And, That's the way it is. And they got capable D. I'm just saying it's, you know, it's, it's these names up front that, you know, names are what have to be successful for your team to be successful. I mean, it's just the way sports are these days. And when you spend that kind of money, you know, you're going to lack somewhere else. Maybe your fourth and third lines aren't as good, but your top two lines are fantastic. Yeah. Well, then they got to be fantastic, and that's what I'm predicting for the Rangers. So, to sum it all up, I said they're going to make the playoffs. I said they're going to be number three in this division. I said probably around 100 points. They can blow it open to maybe 105, 110. They can also fall down to 90 and barely miss the playoffs, which would still be okay going for the future. But I think this is a playoff-bound ready team. I think the city wants them in the playoffs. I think the NHL needs them in the playoffs. And I think... The Rangers might be back to where they once were. Well, we'd love to see that, as we mentioned, with the for the league and all the teams around. So we'll be cheering for that as well as cheering for our Leafs. New York, playoff team. We're looking forward to it.